Welcome in everybody to another edition of Valpo Women's Basketball Weekly. I'm Brandon Vickery from Valpo Sports Information. Glad to be joined by the head coach of Valpo, Mary Evans, as we take a look back at this weekend's trip to Iowa and look ahead to a couple of home games coming up this week. But first, coach, we talked about uh, Sunday's game against Drake and after the game you came away despite the loss feeling more positive than you did after the first two conference games of the season. How come? Um, I think you know the first quarter um, got away from us and I think a lot of a lot of that was us feeling out um, and deciding that we could play with them or not and I think we kind of took some stuff from them and we weren't quite sure whether we could compete with them and I think they settled in in the second quarter and realized that we could. Um, and then I thought they came out in the second half, we made a couple of adjustments um, offensively, and I think in the second half we learned that when we play hard, we can compete with them. And so I think moving forward, um, they'll have confidence in that going in, that when they do things the way that we need to do it, and when they play Valpo basketball, and they play it with the energy and intensity that it takes at this level, that they can compete with the teams in the top half of our league. There's some great environments in women's mm -hmm. basketball in the Missouri Valley Conference, and you saw two of them this weekend going first to you and I, and then to a tremendous crowd yesterday at Drake. What was that like to play in, and how important is it for Valpo fans to come out and support the team this weekend and moving forward? I think it's really important. I mean, they had a great atmosphere. Um, I think I was talking to somebody, and, and they're trying to make Sundays their family days. And so they had a lot of families out there, a lot of young kids. Um, you know, they had some bouncy houses set up up top. And, you know, I think that it's just, it's nice. Players work really hard um, in the Valley. They work really hard from Monday to, to Thursday. And it's nice when you go out there and you, you're putting your product out on the court to have people watch it and appreciate um, what they do. And these young ladies of Valpo are no different. They work really, really hard. They're great students, they're great people. Um, and they're really working to try to become a better basketball team and put a better product out on the court. And they deserve to have people come out and and show their support of that. Grace Hales had 15 points in the second half. She had career highs in steals and assists and finished with 18 points for the game. What did you see out of her on Sunday and what's her progression been like the last few weeks? Um, she's getting so much better. She's getting so much more confident. She's getting a better understanding of what we're trying to do. Um, and I think Grace's um, ceiling is really high. Like She's got an athleticism to her. Um, that's deceiving. Like when you look at her, you don't think she's going to be as athletic as she is. Um, she's a great sh catch and shoot kid, and she's learning um, how to be a really good defender within our system. So I'm excited to watch her her progress, and um, really excited with the energy and the attitude that she came out and played with last night. She was very attacking in nature, um, and it was really good to see her play like that. You had 13 steals in the game against Drake, the first team uh, against Drake to have that many steals oh, in wow. the game this season and you've averaged 9.3 steals per game. Valpo hasn't finished with that many in a season per game in 16 years. Yeah. How have you been able to increase the steal totals with what you've done on the defensive end? You know, I think a lot of it is our defensive system and I thought we could have had a lot more yesterday. Um, our Part of our game plan was trying to get out and deny reversal and um, we did that some but not as much as I would have liked. So um, I think a lot of it is just our defensive scheme and, and the pressure that we put on people and the way we get out and take passes away and, and fronting the post I think uh, helps a lot it's it's a difficult pass to throw it over a kid with help side on the back side so um, you know I think some of it is our defensive scheme and I think some of it is our players starting to understand it and reading gaps and a kid like Grace like I said is deceivingly athletic and then you have someone like Elise Pitts who's just so fast that she can make plays whenever she wants to um, so it's it's nice to see us do it within our scheme and and I think that we'll get better and better at that as we move forward. On the offensive end, something that's been highlighted is the three-point shooting. Twelve of the last 13 games, you've had either the same amount of threes or more made threes than the opponent. You made 13 against Drake. It's you and Creighton that have had that many against Drake okay. this season. Uh, just how have those three-point shots developed? Um, against Drake, I think it's a necessity. With that zone that they play, you have to be able to make that shot. And um, We made some changes to, in our offensive scheme in the second half that kind of would help them help our team make them run out of players if we move the ball quick enough. And I thought our kids did a nice job moving it quickly around the perimeter. Um, and it, when they ran out of players in that zone and in their rotations, um, we had kids step up and make shots. And um, it's an important piece of what we do, but I also want to get more of a presence around the hoop too. So we've got to get better at finishing around the hoop, um, getting fouled when we get in there. Um, and that's something that we're going to focus on this week and moving forward. Now we look ahead, you have Evansville and Indiana State, first the Sycamores on Friday with a, a new head coach in Vicki Hall and then 
Evansville coming in on Sunday. Uh, looking ahead to these two teams, which we expect this weekend? Um, I think two really good basketball games. Indiana State is playing really well. I think uh, they're the best, if, if not one of the best, defensive teams in our conference. So they put, they put a lot of pressure on you. I watched their game last night when we got home um, from yesterday. And, you know, they get up and deny passes and pressure the basketball. So that's going to be um, something that we're going to need to spend some time working on and get comfortable with having the ball in our hand and being strong with it. Um, they do, they, they full court press. Um, you know, so I think it's going to be a really fun game to watch. And, and then Evansville, I think, you know, will come in and, and we'll play hard and we'll see what happens. So, <laughs> Two games in state rivals this weekend as Indiana State comes on Friday and Evansville on Sunday. The Friday game at 7 o'clock and the Sunday game at 1. Hope to see you out there. Until then, for all the latest in Valpo women's basketball, visit valpoathletics.com.